Ooh, it's time for another round of Ask a Life Coach. It's always fun for me, so I hope it's fun for you. I tend to procrastinate on big projects and then find myself feeling rushed and stressed. What are some ways I can change my tendency to procrastinate? Oh, good old procrastination. I'll answer that one later. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, so funny, haha. <laughs> no. <laughs> why? Why do you? I mean, that's the question, right? Why? Why do you procrastinate? And so I think you know, to do this question justice, we would have to get to the source. Uh, why, why are you procrastinating? Oftentimes I find that perfectionists tend to be procrastinators because it's like, well, I, I can't do it perfectly, so I don't want to embark upon it at all. And uh, then at the last minute, well, I've got to do something and uh, I can now forgive myself for it being, you know, of mediocre quality because, you know, I was rushed. So it was the best I could do with the limited time. So I kind of saved myself from that perfectionism. But if that's what's going on, that, you know, there's some work there to do to overcome that perfectionism. But, you know, I don't want to go too far down that rabbit hole because maybe that's not what's going on. So how do you overcome procrastination? Well, let's say you've got to write that paper for school and it's just not calling to you, then give yourself permission to do the minimum amount possible. Like, uh, I'm just going to create the title page. I don't care if I do anything else today. I'm just going to do the title page. And then, you know, maybe once you do the title page, it's like, oh, well, I could do a couple sentences or whatever. And then, you know, the same thing, you, you, you go back to it tomorrow and you say, okay, well, I'm just going to write one sentence today. You know, I'm just going to add one sentence to my paper. And then, you know, maybe once you've done that, you're like, oh, okay, well, Maybe I'll finish the paragraph or what have you. So I think those kinds of, of baby steps where you're putting the, the minimal amount of pressure on yourself is probably the best way to overcome procrastination. Because when, when these tasks feel like things that we have to do, that we've got to do, of course, always try to find intrinsic value in your tasks. If you can make it fun or meaningful or interesting in some way, uh, make a game out of it, find, find joy in the experience, then you're not going to procrastinate. I doubt you're procrastinating the things that you love. Um, Again, unless you're putting those perfectionist expectations on yourself. So, yeah, uh, I'm just going to go to the gym today. I, I might not do anything while I'm there. I might just go sit in the hot tub. Uh, well, as long as I'm here, maybe I'll do a little bit of X, Y, Z. Um, it's something like that. So whatever the things are that you're wanting to do that you feel like you're putting off, that's my invitation to you. Just, just set the goal to do the absolute bare minimum. And if that's all you do, that's cool. You still made progress um, and slow and steady will get you wherever you need to go. And if suddenly it doesn't seem so bad because you built momentum, then go ahead and rock it out a little bit further. So thank you for asking. I appreciate this question. I appreciate everybody tuning in. And I can't wait to see you back here in the next video.